Well, Fran, welcome to Sheffield United. As you've been here a week or so now, how have you found the sort of settling in process to, to being a Sheffield United player? No, I think it's been really good. Um, obviously, I'm delighted to have signed for them. Um, I think it's coming to a pretty crucial time for them in the season. And my, yeah, my first week's been great. The big players will be really welcome and the staff as well. So yeah, hopefully there's, there's more to come. Yeah, you've been out on loan, obviously, the first half of this season. Was it essentially just about trying to get game time and, and minutes in, in coming here? And, and obviously, you've already had that at the weekend with, with your first 90 minutes at, at Durham. Yeah, definitely. I think now it's pretty crucial that I start to play um, some regular game time or if game time. Um, so just say each week as it comes. But I think yeah, now is my time to show what I can do and show the footballing world what I can do and what I will be doing. You're still very young. You've been out on loan a, a couple of times already. You had various experiences at, at Birmingham, at Blackburn. How has that kind of helped you in preparing you for, for coming here? Because you've had a little taste of, of first-team experience. No, yeah, definitely. And I think each team that I've been at has helped me along the way. Um, so I'm very grateful for the past clubs. But, yeah, I think now I have to show what I've learned at those clubs and then move it on to my time now at Sheffield. How much is the time that you spent also obviously still contracted to to Arsenal obviously at the moment you've been at Manchester City you've been around the England youth teams how much do to sort of experiences like that grow you as a player when you're coming through academies like that as a youngster no definitely I think I've been very lucky in that way that I've been with Man City and also Arsenal um, and I think training with the players that I have done has definitely pushed me on um, pretty quickly um, but obviously now it's just the game time that I need so yeah hopefully that's what I'll be getting here yeah, and you will know a couple of the girls here, obviously, from various England age groups. I know you know Naomi, obviously, who was playing in front of you on Sunday. Does that help? You've got, you know, one or two players in there that, that you're familiar with and, and can kind of guide you through things, whether that's training or, or games. Yeah, definitely. I think, well, I've seen her a lot from England. Um, and, yeah, we do work well together. And hopefully I can start to build relationships with the other defenders and moving on to the midfield as well. Uh, so, yeah, hopefully that comes pretty quick. But, yeah, I'm sure it will. And what's the message been like from from Luke and, and from Carl, obviously the goalkeeper coach? I know he spoke very glowingly of you. So what have they kind of said to you in terms of how they view you and, and what you can offer this team this season? No, I think they've just put confidence into me, really, um, to just show what I can do and what they know I can do. Um, so yeah, hopefully, well, now's my time to prove to them that I can do that. Obviously, you had your first 90 minutes on... Sunday, it was obviously a, a disappointing ending for the whole team, but overall, how good was it to get that game under your belt? Pretty solid performance. Well, I know you would have loved the clean sheet and the point at the end, but overall, how do you sort of reflect on it from your own personal point of view? Yeah, I think as a personal point of view, it was always nice playing my first 90 minutes with Sheffield. Um, and yeah, it was disappointing with the goal um, to come at the 89th minute, but hopefully we can review that and then, yeah, hopefully that doesn't happen again and I think now is definitely the time where we need to start putting points on the board and I think the girls and myself included are ready for to fight it. Um, so yeah, hopefully we, we can stay in the league. Yeah, and final one, obviously you've made your home de debut hopefully this weekend at Bramall Lane. Obviously the, the crowds we've had this season have been fantastic. The, the fans have always come down to see the girls. How much are you looking forward to, to playing there this weekend and, and the fans obviously getting a, a first chance to, to watch you in action? Yeah, I mean, can't wait. Um, and I think yeah, it's a historical stadium, so I think the stadium is would be lovely to, to play in and then you have to meet the fans. I think football wouldn't be the same game without them and then hopefully I can yeah, meet them, especially like after the game and stuff.